to we're about to convert five meter cube 0 0.08 meter cube and 25.5 millimeter cube towards two centimeters cube now remember the relationship what's the relationship the relationship is that let's take the first question we know that five meter cube if you check your notes you check your previous notes that one meter cube is equivalent okay let's start small one meter one meter on its own is equivalent to us is equivalent to 100 centimeters so we also know that one meter cube when you're not talking about in terms of cube then that would be what a hundred times a hundred times a hundred centimeters cube so meaning that one meter cube is equivalent to one zero 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 so that is one million centimeters cube so just use this as a standard one meter cube is equal to one million centimeters cube now let's solve this question let's solve the first question you have you are told that five meter cube, five meter cube, you are asked to convert five meter cube to what? To this, to centimeters cube. Now, but you know that your standard is that what? One meter cube, so you have meter cube, meter cube here, is equal to what? One million, one million centimeters cube so what do we do we cross multiply we cross multiply we cross multiply so that would be that would be one meter cube okay so that would be x let's call this x so that'll be x times one is equal to five times one million. So that would mean that x is equal to what? Five million centimeters cube. So that would mean that your five meter cube is equivalent to what? Five million centimeters cube. That's what it would mean. That five meter cube is equivalent to what? Five million centimeters cube. Now, in the same vein, let's take the other question. 0 0.08 meter cube. So you have 0 0.08 meter cube. You want to know its equivalent. So using the standard, we already know that one meter cube is equal to what? one million centimeters cube so what do we do we cross multiply remember meter cube will be under meter cube we cross multiply so let's call this x so it's easier so this is x multiplied by one is equals to what 0 0.08 multiplied by one million so that would mean that x is equals to what eight one two three four five six that is 80 centimeters cube. So it's as simple as that. Now, the third one is millimeter cube. Millimeter. Remember, I told you that millimeter is 10 raised to the power of minus 3. Millimeter is 10 raised to the power of minus 3. So let's take that. Now, in that case, the standard is different. It's no longer one meter cube, it's equal to 1,000 centimeters cube. Now, in case of millimeter, you know that was 1,000 millimeter. Check your notes. All these things, you should know it by art by now. 1,000 millimeter cube is equal to what? One. No. Sorry. One centimeter. Or rather, one that is 10 millimeters is equal to one centimeter. If you check your calculator, if you check your, um, your um, what's your name, your, your ruler. So this is 10 multiplied by 10, multiplied by 10, 
all in what meter cube. It's going to give us one times one times one all in centimeters cube. So meaning that 1,000 meter cube is equivalent, sorry, millimeter cube. Sorry about that error. Millimeter cube is equivalent to what? One centimeters cube. So all in all, we know that in order for us to convert millimeters to centimeters or millimeters cube rather to centimeters cube, then that would be 1,000 millimeters cube will be equal to one centimeters cube. Now, what's the question? The question said you should convert 25. Let's use here. Question says convert 25 millimeter cube to what? To centimeters cube. To centimeters cube. So in other words, invariably, my answer would be, I take my standard, what I'm using as my standard. 1,000 millimeter cube is equal to what? One centimeter cube. So what do we do? We cross multiply as usual. So this will become 1,000 multiplied by X is equal to 25 multiplied by one. What? It is 25.5 millimeter cube. Okay, 25.5. Okay, not 25, thank you. So that is 25.5. 25.5 multiplied by one. So that would be um, X will be equal to what? 25.5 divided by 1,000. So X will be equal to what? 0 0.123, 0 0.0255 centimeters cube. That's our answer. So like I said, it's about remembering the standard and working with the standard. Do you have questions? So quickly, let's write this. Let's write this. And express the following. A meter Q. So now you are converting to meter cube. Are you following? You are converting to meter cube. So let's look at two different examples. We have 205 centimeters cube, and we've got 124,000 millimeters cube. So we have to convert this two to centimeters cube. Or rather, excuse me, we have to convert those two to meters cube. Now, looking at the first one, A, you are converting centimeters cube to what? Meter cube. Now, still remember, what's the relationship? Can you remind me? What's the relationship between centimeters cube and meter cube? No, Fisad. Relationship. How do you convert centimeter cube to meters cube? How many centimeters cube will make meter cube? To your notes now. One centimeter cube will make one will make hundred meter cube. As you like. Well, Sabra. Aliyah, what about you? Aliyah. Sir, I cannot hear you, sir. You cannot hear me? Really? Yeah. So, you... I'll take it again. You have 205 centimeters here. That is equal to what? X, because you don't know what it is. So you are using X to represent it. Are you following me? But based on previous relationship, we know that by standard, 
1,000, 1 million centimeters cube will give you one meter cube. So remember, centimeter cube will be under centimeters cube, meter cube will be under meter cube. Because you don't know the value of this, we are calling it x. So what do we do next? You cross multiply it. So that will be what? A million multiplied by x is equal to 205 multiplied by 1. Divide both sides by a million. A million will cancel out a million. So x will be equal to what? 0 0.0001, that will be 1, 2, 3, 0, 2, 5, meter cube. That is your answer. That is 0 0.00025 meter cube. Between millimeter cube and meter cube. How many millimeter cube? So remember what I told you before that a thousand millimeters will give us one meter. A thousand millimeters. We give you what? One meter. So if you now have millimeter cube, that would be a thousand multiplied by a thousand multiplied by a thousand. All of it to be what? Millimeter cube. And that will give us one times one times one meter cube. Are you following me? So meaning that this is going to be what? 10 raised to the power of nine, which is one zero 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 millimeter cube is equals to one meter cube. So this is the relationship we are going to use here. Now if you look at this, this is meter cube, millimeter cube and meter cube. So that would be what? That would be one billion millimeter cube is equals to one meter cube. Are you following me? I will write yes. this part off. So I will advise you to write it out sometimes. So what do we do? We cross multiply. We cross multiply. So upon cross multiplication, what we have is this. One billion multiplied by x is equal to 124,000 multiplied by one. Of course, that will become x is equal to 124,000 divided by one billion. And of course, our answer would be zero point Zero 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 one two four meter cube. Of one liter, when you have to convert conversion. I'm online, man. Of centimeters cube to liters. Now, if you know that what your your centimeters cube, are you following me? One thousand yes. centimeters cube is equivalent to one liter. One liter. Are you following me? One liter. So for you to have one liter of Coke, like, you know, your Coke one liter bottle, are you getting me? It is also 1,000 centimeters cube. 1,000 centimeters cube, which means that 
it is also remember that 1000 meters cube if you want to still convert it this is one meter All right. Okay. So moving on. So what would that mean? If, for instance, I said convert, convert, convert twenty-five cm cube to liters. What do you do? What you just do is simple. You say that word. You say that 1,000, so solution, 1,000 centimeters cube is equivalent to what? One liter. So therefore, 25 centimeters cube will be equal to what? X liter. By the time cross multiply, that will be 1,000 multiplied by X is equal to 25 multiplied by 1. So X will be equal to 25 over 1,000, which would be 0 0.025 liters. It's as simple as that. And you should also know conversion of meter cube to liters. Now, if you know that was one meter cube is equivalent to one thousand liters. One thousand liters. One meter cube. So look at it. Too. One thousand centimeters cube is equals to one liter. One meter cube is equal to 1,000 liters. You do not need to cram it. We do not need to cram it. The more questions you solve with regards to it, the better you get with it. By the time you just know certain, certain ones of an, others would follow. <laughs> So that would mean that if I say convert, if you are told to convert, if I say convert, example and illustration, if I say convert 5.75 meter cube to liter, what would that be? That would be what. So in this case, now you are doing you are doing conversion of volume to capacity or capacity to volume. That's what you are doing now. So now in this case, now that would be you just recall that one meter cube is equal to one thousand liters. So therefore, five point seven five meter cube will be equal to x liters. So what did you cross multiply, right? So that would be x liters. It's equivalent to 5.75 times what? Times a thousand. You know, after you cross multiply, this will be one multiplied by this one. So that would be 5750. It's as simple as that. Now, your liters have some other subunits. Liters have some other subunits. Like I told you yesterday, that for instance, your saturated water is um, is um, is in centiliter, centiliter. That is the saturated water. That is your pure water. Hmm? I think I even have one here. I have one saturated water here. Let's see. Okay, where is it written? 
Where's everything? Where's everything? Where's everything? Okay. Okay, yeah. If you look at it, if you look at it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. The screen is not so clear. Here you have 50 CL. 50 CL. Hmm? But if you have anyone at home, you can check. So it's in centiliters. Centiliters. So meaning that conversion to other subunits of liters. So that's what we're looking at. Other subunits of liters. Other subunits. Or mega units of liters. Subunits and mega units of liters. So we have um, one liter is equivalent to hundred centi liters. So remember, I told you that cents means hundred, milli means zero point zero zero one. Hmm? Um, kilo means 1,000. Are you getting me? So when you are doing all those conversion, no. So these are the three you actually be interested in. So that will tell you that one, one liter is equivalent to one thousand, that is 100 centiliters. Let's draw this line here. Then one liter will also be equal to 1,000 milliliters. One kiloliter. One kiloliter is equal to 1,000 liters. Okay. This is 1,000. Okay. Take note of this, take note of this, take note of this. So we have less than a minute to round on the class. Your assignment to be sent to your Google classroom. Although I didn't give you an assignment yesterday, so it's possible no. because I felt you guys were not so clear on